Hey, how you doing? Going over the floor for questions. Anybody got any questions? Jim, right here in front of you. Congratulations on the fight. You said the other day that you weren't going to brawl unless you really had to see my like maybe a couple of quarters at the end of the round. You forced you to brawl, but otherwise you lost. Uh, you know, we're, we're, you did a great job with it, obviously, but at the end of the fight, were you confident that you were going to get your hand Yeah, I was very confident. I was going to get my hand raised. I had controlled action all night. Uh, you know, with my jab, good jab and movement. Uh, even when Marquez attacked at times, he was missing a lot of shots. You know, I was making them miss, and I was able to make them pay at some times, but, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, you know, towards the, the midway point of the fight, he started making adjustments, he started closing the gap on me, and, uh, you know, I had to make adjustments as well. You know, uh, he was throwing a big right hand, he was coming back, trying to come with the upper cut because I was getting really low, and uh, I had to basically smother him and stop the action. You heard him this in like, the 12th round, you almost knocked him down in, in the 10th round there. Uh, you know, you're underrated for your power, but do you think you know, he kind of respected your power throughout the fight? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know if he respected my power. Uh, I'm not sure. I was just, I was able to control with my jab, so I'm not sure if I was able to, you know, if he was scared to come in or not, because he was coming in, but uh, I was able to make a miss. Um, towards the end of the fight, I caught him with a big left hook in the exchange. Uh, he was staggering back. He looked like he was a little bit exposed when he do when he tried to throw his left hook. I was mine was shorter, so I probably caught him a little bit off balance. And then two other quick questions. Number one, how hard was it to not get in those exchanges? Because that's the kind of fighter you are. It was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It was hard. I like to fight. Believe it or not, um, I like to step step in there and fight, but I had to listen to my corner to get this win because uh, Marquez is a big, big puncher. He can punch. Um, he can hurt me any time in that ring, and I have to stay smart to get this victory. And then just, you know, I have a crew who's going to fight next, like the Pacquiao Rios winner, or Mayweather possibility in the room? You know, I really don't know right now, honestly. Uh, you know, uh, fight just happened, I would love to fight any of those guys. Uh, I just want to fight the best out there. I, I keep telling everybody time to time, I just want to fight the best. That's it. Tim, did and you, so, um, Kevin, hold on, no. oh. Kevin was talking about his power. Um, two questions. Did you ever feel oh, his absolutely. power? And that's oh, one question. Go ahead. Oh, absolutely. I felt his power in the first round. You know, he uh, caught me the left, the left hook. Um, I felt the power. It was a very, very strong punch, but I, you know, my legs held, held me up. I was good. You know, but he did that. Left hook in the first round? Left hook in the first round. Okay. Now, when you were done, you got the, the you know, bell rang. When the bell rang for the uh, 12th round, did you, in your mind, think the fight was close? No, absolutely not. I didn't think the fight was that close. Um, a lot of the shots when he, when he came and he attacked me on the ropes, he missed a lot of shots. You know, I had good defense, good tight defense. You know, I'm blocking, I'm rolling, I'm getting underneath the shots. Um, a lot of shots were missing. I felt like I controlled, controlled the fight. Marquez, hey, Marquez is a great champion, he's a great warrior. Uh, he's a very smart fighter. He's one of the toughest fights I've ever had in my life, honestly. Um, you know, he brought he brought it, man. He brought it today. Timothy Owens, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, would you consider this fight to be uh, one of the fights that you fought smart? Yeah, um, you know, the Ruslan fight I fought a little dumb. Um, this fight I definitely had to fight smart. Uh, you know, uh, I know, I know the fans are probably a little upset, you know, because I boxed a little bit and I didn't exchange with them. You know, at times I tried to make this entertainment as possible, but you know, I had, I had the box this way in order to get this win. Did you expect uh, a lot more out of him than you did? No, no, not at all. I didn't, I didn't expect a lot more of him. I, you know, he's very technical and he's, he's a very strong fighter. I didn't expect a lot more. I knew he was gonna be tough. Tim, congratulations. Mike Thank Martin. you. You've talked about respect, replacing the game, like you said, a win over Marquez. And even the harshest critics could not deny you that. Um, in the immediate wake of this victory, how do you feel about that situation? Do you think you'll finally get that long of respect? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, if I get the respect, great. If I don't, keep that against me. I'm just going to keep winning. Marquez and Pacquiao. You have victories over both Marquez and Pacquiao. 
how would you rate the two in terms of difficulty and punching power? Uh, boy, they both put big punches. They both big punches. Uh, Marquez uh, dated a couple times in the fight. Uh, Marquez dated a couple times in the fight. I mean, they're both big punchers. One is coming from the left position, one is coming from the right position. Um, I can't really judge who's better or not, honestly, because in the back of the fight, my feet were hurt. My feet were hurt, so I, I can't really gauge. I couldn't really move like I wanted to move in that fight. So uh, with that being said, both, both, both are great champions, both are great warriors, and they legends in the sport. Living legends. Tim, given the fact that you didn't think the fight was close, what was your what were what went through your mind when you heard the first card, Glenn Feldman's card, one fifteen, one thirteen? For I just said, "Oh, that was it." <laughs> what were you? Tim, did you feel like it was your speed? It was it was your speed and the fact that you were ten years younger than this guy at the end of the day that really kind of decided this, this fight? Did you feel his age, you know, pre then as the fight was going on? No, not really, man. I like this guy's a clever. He's a clever. Like uh, age was a factor there, he still competed, he still came back, he still tried to win, and, you know, it was, it was I just thought that, you know, honestly, that my speed, my footwork uh, was the key.
He's training with my friend. He's training with my friend. Uh, I know. I appreciate him a lot. So very. He's got a bright future. But tonight we won, and in his heart, he know he didn't want this time. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. 